Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at varieties of toolpaths that could be produced using Potworks. Uh, there are eight major types of toolpath that we can produce using Potworks, starting from weak carving or wing, to profile toolpath, to bucket toolpath, drilling toolpath, texture toolpath, inlay toolpath, prism carving toolpath, and then fluting toolpath. Uh, the caution here that whatever the setting that you see here on the screen or in any of the toolpath, they are not the correct setting. It's just been done like a quick and dirty so that I can give you guys an idea of what toolpath can do what. Let's take a look at the weak car first. Different toolpaths do require different types of bits. This weak car records a V bit, which usually looks something like this it could be 90 degree or 60 degree or 30 degree if you see how it's going to look like I'm trying on this object let's take a look how it's going to give us the preview I'm just going to reset it real quick and that's the main that's the we car first let's take a preview this is how it does the setting here is that the flat depth is 0.52 so it's you know it's going all the way down there and it's cutting through the material and it's just giving this nice little yellow edge which is which shows that that edge is, that edge has been machined and it's 45 degree edge uh, just gives a nice little Christmas star feeling but that's a uh, we call regular wind tool path the settings could be modified further we can take off the, this as well and we can try what it gives us if we reset and preview real quick you can see it's neat and clean there is no little yellow thing in the center what it did is just like there is no flat depth there so it cuts all the way through perfect let's let's move on to the next type of toolpath is a profile toolpath which is the most used toolpath I'll give you a quick demo how it's been made uh, it has start depth cut depth a tool which could be an end mill or it could be a straight cut two flute or three flute or it could be a spiral up or spiral down you can machine the vectors outside inside and on I'm not gonna go in details of tabs and tool path in this chapter but it's gonna be the future chapters a few future tutorials where you will learn more about tabs and tool paths so it's already been developed on this and that's how it looks like I'm doing it outside for now let's take a look how it's gonna preview to us so it's very simple quick there is no tabs so so far you cannot see any tabs here uh, but it's nice and quick and clean it cuts my material all the way through uh, but that's what I desire if I don't need that all I need to do is go here and change my cut depth all right so that's pretty much about the profile toolpath now I'm gonna move on to the pocket toolpath let's take a look how a pocket looks like you see this it's like a big pocket thing so I'm using the same profile to make a pocket there what pocket toolpath does is like it just clears an entire area from the material uh, you'll just see in a moment I'm just gonna show you guys a preview real quick I'm going down to 3d and I'm gonna do a little zoom in so you can see it clear as you can see the process on the screen what it did here it just made a little groove uh, which is a little pocket like for entire design just it just used the same close profile but here's one more thing that I would like you guys to notice there's something called pocket allowance if you guys are following to the various tutorials on my website uh, the pocket allowance is 0.03 so what it does it like it is cutting inside 0.03 inches I'll show you uh, real quick you can see here my vector ends here but toolpath ends here so it cuts a little less just because of that and if you want to see it here it's gonna be this so as you can see that's the final profile cut that we saw in the earlier discussion and that is what is the pocket toolpath well, if I change a pocket toolpath right here from 0.03 to just uh, 
zero and if I do calculate that I'm gonna reset the preview for file one and I'm gonna do profile two as you can see here there is no more line out there and same way if I want to make it smaller what I'm gonna do is 0.5 calculate it again reset the tool path and preview real quick alright so that was pretty much about the pocket toolpath pocket toolpath requires a closed profile profile toolpath also requires a closed profile and we carve toolpath that we saw first at uh, the beginning of the tutorial that also requires a closed profile you can try open or open profile on sorry open vectors profile toolpath and I'm sure it should work but you gotta make sure that it's cutting on the right direction left to right okay let's go back to the discussion so we finished first second and third we finished pocket now does let's take a look at the drill now so here for drill what I have done is I have made number of circles along a star here and if we see it here what it's gonna do it's very simple you need a cut depth how deep you wanna go I'm cutting it all the way through just to give you guys an idea it could be done using a straight cut and meld uh, up cut or just a regular drill that will work just calculate it should do the job let's take a look at the preview alright I'm gonna preview a drill one and as you can see it just did a nice little holes here but what it does if you see it carefully here the circles are overlapping but it does not follow the circle it follows the center of the circle and it also followed the shape of the star and it made a puncture in the center well what if it's not a circle or it's not a circle mm, reference shape say for example what if it's a square so let's do that I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna make a square here real quick Oh, sorry, a rectangle. And um, what am I gonna do? This is a drill tool path. I'm gonna add this little thing and I calculate it again. So now, if you see what it did here, is it also made a one little tool path here, which you're gonna see in here as well. But you'll see it real quick in the in the preview. So I'm gonna go here, preview tool path. It made hole all the way for the star and also made hole for for the center of the square so any close profile it will calculate the center of it and it will make it make a hole uh, sorry drill in the center of it so that's pretty much about the drill toolpath now next is gonna be now we're gonna take a look at the texture toolpath the texture could use varieties of tools I'm just gonna take use this same shape to make a texture I'm using a weak hard bit 90 degree it's 1.25 we'll just don't look at the settings right now because it's just been used to give you guys demo that what this tool will machine like I've calculated it already and I would like you guys to take a look at the preview and so I start hitting the preview the yellow surface that you see here it's been machine and it's developing a wonderful nice little texture exactly to the shape of this and let's let's see how fast it finishes well it looks like it's finished uh, you can see a nice and wonderful texture in the yellow color and if you don't want the color you can uncheck this uh, you can click use material color so you can see a nice little texture details are not that good because uh, the resolution of the bitmap wood image is not good anyway but you have an idea that what this tool can do it's uh, so what this tool pack can do it's a it's a texture creating tool path create texture tool path well it seems pretty good now I'm just gonna reset the preview there I think it did not show it here because it was too heavy to to show it here Anyway, the next uh, toolpath in the line is called inlay toolpath. Inlay toolpaths. There are two types of inlay toolpaths: male inlay toolpaths and female inlay toolpaths. Female inlay toolpath is it's all about pocket and hole. 
you can have a pocket like so it's very similar to pocket to web we developed and if we increase the depth of the pocket which is which we keep a little bigger than the material thickness then it's gonna be whole so it's very similar to it male inlay is a little bit interesting uh, it's just removes the material outside and as you can see that and this stepped one is very interesting one it gives you a wonderful little detail it's a combination of pocket and a profile to a pocket at the same time so you can just use this one single toolpath male stepped and it will allow you to cut all the way through i have that looked at already male inlay as you can see here just gonna give you guys a little demo how it looks like it's a combination of pocket and profile toolpad both and I'll show you how. So I'm just gonna preview that toolpad step male inlay. You see what it what it did? It just did cut all the way through. Also it made it this little pocket here. Uh, it's more like a groove pocket. It's not a pocket in the center of the profile, but it's it's using the same star profile that's been used to cut the material all the way through and just having a little setup changes here. As you can see here, my step depth is 0.25 my material is 0.5 thickness as you can see here uh, i'm doing it like halfway so this d depth is 0.25 my step width as you can see this yellow little area it's 0.4 inches and i can keep it whatever i want i can change it to i want it 0.15 uh, calculate it i'm gonna reset the preview and i'm gonna preview the toolpath so as you can see compared to last time the yellow area is a little smaller and it's because of male stepped inlay I just decreased the step width so it's a combination of a pocket toolpath and a profile toolpath together uh, very useful at some particular machining now next one is the prism carving toolpath it's a wonderful tool as well I'm just going to reset the preview real quick so for that what I have done is I have this SFSC letter here uh, if you uh, follow the tutorials uh, we saw how we can create the text uh, just tell us some text uh, very simple and I have a prism car tool back for that this preview looks a little funny just don't worry about that for now but if we go here it's neat and clean the prism curve use the V car bit as well it's very similar to V curve but it does a nicer job all right so I already have it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show the preview how it looks like as you can see it did this nice and clean it used the V car bit for the angle all around the vectors outside and it makes this nice prism looking fonts of SFSU so well, it could be uh, very useful to make some design decorative with some fonts with with a very professional look so that was the p carving toolpath sorry prism carving toolpath it looks pizza uh, i'm gonna reset the preview here again and the last toolpath that we're gonna take a look is fluting toolpath i also have made it made a demo for you for that you see a little little leaf kind of thing it's a floating one and floating two this tool path is the one um, as I mentioned in the last lesson that you we need to use the start point and end points of the vector this all vectors are open they're not closed vector and well floating tool path has this just fluid type and ramp type balance bit fluid depth very basic I'm not going all the way through let's see what kind of effect that it gives I'm gonna try the first one first it's a preview toolpath you see what it did if you can see it's yellow so it's hard to see but if you can see it's deeper here and it's less deeper here if I change it to material color you can see better if you want to make a decorative detail like you want to make a leaf or like you want to make something else for that well where you need the decorative details you can use this uh, toolpath out there. I'm gonna run down the second one and let's see how it looks like. See what it did here. It has a continuous uh, depth here and when it goes outside it decreases. It's same here as well. So that's been used for a floating toolpath. That concludes the tutorial and hope it was informative. If you have any questions feel free to reach me. Thank you for watching.